This year, the women's basketball team hired a brand new coach. He's young, energetic, and has the Eagles flying high in the Patriot League. Get a stop, Blue! Get a stop! American University head coach Matt Corkery learned the coaching profession from the ground up at West Texas A&M. 45 to the side. I volunteered there without having any coaching experience. I was an undergrad and grew up in that program. I started out sweeping the floor, doing the laundry. Sprint, Chris, sprint! Five years later, Corker got his first head coaching job at American University, and he and his team hit the floor running. <laughs> Matt Corkery was the recruiting coordinator for the Eagles and recruited every player on the team. Michelle Kirk from New York was one of his prize recruits. Basketball-wise, definitely I've become a lot more mentally tough. I came in horribly out of shape my freshman year. I was, could barely make it up and down the court. Um, I came in here and I was really soft. Push, 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 here we go. I really hadn't been yelled at a lot or criticized throughout my high school career. Anybody gonna guard the orange ball? Now I'm a lot more mentally tough, a lot more prepared. I think they know that I have their best interests in heart um, when it comes right down to it and, then, and hopefully that I care about them as people. Team play is accentuated, um, more player movement, more ball movement. All five players on the floor being involved in an offensive possession. Good work, White! Good work, White! And everyone is involved when the Eagles take the court. Eight to ten players can get playing time during a contest. Definitely our style of play factors into that because we do want to play at a high tempo and hopefully um, you're fresher at the end of the season when it counts. The end result is more players get to play more minutes. Those players got a chance to play in the national spotlight last week. ESPN televised a first place showdown between American University and Lehigh. It's exciting. Number one, it's great for our program to have that type of uh, national exposure for the opportunity, to have the opportunity for players and recruits from across the country to watch our team play. Two fans traveled five hours from Painted Post, New York. Karen and Bruce Kirk come to every one of their daughter's home games. Uh, we come this far because, first of all, Michelle's our youngest um, and we don't have any other children at home. We don't want to miss a game. We all love basketball. My parents sit in the same spot every game. They sit uh, in the top across from the benches in the top center row. <laughs> I don't know if there's a reason they sit in the same spot. We like those seats, the view is good, it's a quick getaway when we have to get home. It's quick to the food, quick to the bathroom, you can't sit in a better spot. <laughs> One time they came and somebody had taken their seats and so they sat down and they were like, can, can we just please have our seats? This is where we sit all the time. Not that we're superstitious or anything, but we will throw people out of those seats if we can't get in them. <laughs> now they have somebody who works for you, save them their seats. The Kirks and a national audience saw Michelle Kirk and the Eagles beat Lehigh 65-56. Kirk. <laughs> Pam Stanfield. And Nicole Ryan led the Eagles in scoring. And Talisha Jackson broke the career three-point record at American University. We've got great balance at American University. We have a quality basketball team. We play at a very high level. Um, and that is also matched by a very high um, academic program. So we're going to attract some of the best students, and it's unlike any other in the country. Okay, congratulations. And you have to enjoy the wins or else, you know, what else are you working for? But you can't break your arm patting yourself on the back. Carry that, build that, roll with it. Let it start going downhill and get bigger and bigger and bigger, all right? And then when we get to here, all right, we're going to be right where we need to be. Okay. Yeah. Hey, guys, it's a privilege to sit on the bench with the number one team in the Patriot League. There we go, man. Come again. All right. Thank you. All right, good job.
Thanks again, Coach. Thank you. See you soon. We want to close out on a high note. Thank the folks here at the Kogod School of Business for letting us spend time here and sharing with you this beautiful new facility. And remember, if you'd like to get the latest on your favorite American University athletic team, go to aueagles.com. I'm Al Koken, and we'll see you next time on Eye on the Eagles.